Here we've arrived at camp and you can see all the water is closed. So this is, there's no way for me to fill. We do travel with about 10 gallons in the RV, but we hold 75. So we really needed to fill when we got here. And we have for many years, we park, we put the RV together and I just connect and I fill the RV. So that's not possible today. So we have to figure out another solution. Fortunately, we were coming here anyway to do this video on the Nomad solution from ClearSource. So it all worked out. This is not staged. This is an actual closed thing for the Deschutes County. So. Uh, it actually worked out, but uh, good for us that we have the ability to have some backup and get water to the RV. All right, so now we're gonna actually turn the Nomad device on. So you're gonna turn it back on and the water starts to flow. In is our DC input for my Schumacher device. This is the water coming in, that's the water going out. If by any chance, you ever would blow the fuse inside here you could push this little reset here and the fuse resets itself so that's really cool and there's a safety here for the switch you can't get it to turn on accidentally you have to actually flip it up and turn the machine on if somebody was to push it down automatically turns off nice safety feature there okay so what do we need to make this actually work so we've got the nomad solution from clear source i'll put a link down below to that and some of the websites from clear source you can check it out but we've you've seen a video before i put a link up to one where we had the clear source three canister solution but from lynn and i we boomed out quite a bit and having the ability to get water from a local source uh, not knowing if it's clean or whatever and going through a filtration system is key to be able, for us to be able to get out and stay out boondocking longer the next thing you're going to need is some sort of a power supply. This is a 12 volt solution. Actually, this does multiple things uh, from Schumacher. I'll do a video on this too, but it has AC power. We were plugged in here into the DC port, getting 12 volt power. It also has some uh, USB power as well. So pretty cool little device. I used a little cable here. I plugged in my uh, cigarette lighter. And then from there, ClearSource provides you with basically these alligator clamps, like when you're jump starting a car. And then it plugs into the port right here for power. Two hoses. We had the one going into the river. Uh, and then I had one here from Zero G. This is one that you saw. I had a longer one. I put it away just for now, but for the sake of the video, um, just it's an expand or a collapsible hose. The reason we went that way and I didn't put the Nomad system up by the RV is because I have my longest hoses are collapsible versions. I got to do a test on this to see if it actually works, but I doubt what's going to happen, or I think what's going to happen is when I tell the Nomad system to pull water out of the river with a collapsible hose out 100 feet, I think it's going to really collapse that hose and continue to keep it collapsed and not allow water to come through. So our solution was to use the hard hose to get it up out of the river through the Nomad and then use the Nomad's pressure, which is 60 PSI, to push it to the RV. I would of course rather have it by the RV, but it worked well for us. We put in 45 gallons. Great solution for this short weekend that Melinda and I are here. Hey folks, we're almost done with this video, so I've got a couple of things that I forgot to call out while I was out at the campground. So first of all, the Nomad device will output five gallons a minute under normal circumstances, you know, if you have the hose and a good amount of water and it can pull that. So I think that's a pretty good amount of water to, to put in remotely using a 12 volt supply. They also say that it will push water or pull water 100 feet. We did about 120 feet, but remember we did it backwards because we had one of those collapsible hoses. Uh, I talked with the folks at ClearSource and they did verify that it will not pull water from 100 feet away. It will still collapse that hose like I thought it was going to. So don't do that. If you're in the situation like me where you use collapsible hoses, just take the, the device out to the water and push it. It worked much better for us. We had no problems doing that. So if you do have collapsible hoses, there is still a solution for you. The filters in this. So there's two filters. Uh, the first one is a coconut based filter that uh, filters at a, uh, I think it's a five micron level that gets out the big stuff like silt, sediment, so that the next filter, which is a 0 0.001 micron filter, that will get rid of all the stuff like E. coli, um, Legionella, and the cysts that can do stuff like Giardia that gives you really bad stomach aches. So that having that filter in there is fantastic. So I still have my old clear source device here, the three canister solution. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my deionizer filter in this so that when I wash the RV, I wash my car, I wash my wife's car, whatever we're doing, 
you don't have to go back and then do the clear all the water off to get the spot, water spots off of the vehicle. This deionizing filter is phenomenal. When I washed our RV, and it's about 38 feet, it's got a lot of windows all the way around it. And normally when I do it, I gotta go back really quick and wipe all the water off so it doesn't get the, the water spots. Using this filter, you don't have to do that. Phenomenal. Okay, so the last thing I wanna talk about is using this when you do have water source. So if you're at a campground that does have water, you can still use this. You don't have to use the 12 volt. What you do over on the side is there's a lever and you can see right now that the lever is horizontal so it's going through the main filter and through the water pump. If I turn this lever, lever it's stiff, to going up and down and it just uses it like a normal clear source water filtration system. So a very good idea from clear source there to be able to use it both for when you have power or when you have city water and when you don't. The final thing I want to do, I'm going to raise my camera up here. So here's the, the main, the primary filter. I'm going to take the cover off. And there's a nice O-ring in here that makes it nice and watertight. And here is one thing that I think ClearSource can work on. The entire thing is pretty much bulletproof, rock solid. However, they have this little filter. You see it right here. And it's just metal. There's no plastic ring around it. There's nothing that makes it easy to go back in there. So I think what's gonna happen is I'm gonna probably ding it up or something. Now I'm pretty sure the guys at ClearSource are already on this and gonna make it uh, improve it because this is pretty much an, um, an early version of the Nomad solution. So if you had this, and maybe there was a plastic ring around it that made it easier to get back on this device and then put your cap back on, I think it'd be very helpful. Okay, so that's about a wrap to the video. Um, if you guys have any questions on this device, uh, we think it's gonna be a game changer for us out there where we realistically camp a lot boondocking and we don't have access to water. Like you saw, again, that was not set up. That was really coincidental that the campground did not have water when we were going there to do the Nomad video. Um, any questions, again, put them down below. If I can't answer them, I'll talk to my folks at ClearSource and they get back to you with an answer. Hey, thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye. So if you haven't done so yet, please remember to hit the subscribe button and then hit the little bell so that it reminds you when we post new videos. Mm -hmm.